Take a seat and just talk us through what's going on. Okay. Well, socially distanced, of course. Yep, of course. But having a good look around here now, this is really taking shape. It's something else now, isn't it? It is, you know. You say, uh, I'm, I'm over the moon with it, I'm proud. It's my me, me little baby, and uh, he's just got to the stage now where literally on the, he was on the cusp of opening up, and, um, and then lockdown kicked in. So, um, so he's basically been sat here just waiting for um, for the government to or for all the madness to blow over and and um, obviously there's been so much bad news and heartache and stuff what's happened. So you know once, once we're over the worst of it now and everything can start to ease off like it is doing, then we can start hopefully looking at a date to open then and then getting the ball rolling with trying to help these kids change their own lives. I know you were keen on getting them involved now, even before the doors could open, just getting the message out there that it's going to be here for them, so that you've got something to look forward to. Exactly. And so, so in a way, maybe it's worked out a little bit better, um, because they'll have been in a position where they sat around, sort of, maybe analysing what they do, um, their life in general, stuff what they've done, a bit of reflection and stuff like that, and then maybe can, can set a little bit of a plan and a goal moving forward, so hopefully, this has been out there now, people have been talking about it for, for a good few months and um, hopefully this is, I mean, I know, from, you know, from, from talking over the, over the past few months before lockdown, before Christmas even, the, uh, the excitement about the kids in this area, about this, this opening up and hopefully what it'll do for the community. So, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it progress and how, how, it, how it affects people's lives. This unit, of course, is in the walked in town centre and just next door, just where the camera's pointing now, just behind that wall there, it's going to be a, another unit, which is more like a leisure and activity unit for yeah, all local it, kids, isn't it? Yeah, so it'll, it'll basic, basically be like a, a youth zone. Um, so this full area used to be a shopping centre and, um, and we've, we've, we've partitioned the wall, you know, we've, we've took half on as a boxing gym and then the other half is going to be just a general youth zone with um, PlayStations, there's a football pitch area, um, they're going to be running dramatic uh, drama classes, you know, and stuff like that. Just, just basically a place for kids to get off the street, you know, get them off the streets, get them engaged, get them learning stuff or doing stuff, keeping active, just get them off the streets from, and give them something to do, because basically the fact of the matter is, a lot of the time there's nothing for these kids to do, and this is, this is going to be a, an, a gateway for them to, to come in and hopefully the moment they walk through the doors, whether they get into the reception area, and turn left into the boxing gym or turn right into the youth zone, um, whichever direction they go in, it'll be the right direction and they'll change their lives through it. I know you've got all your pros back in as well, uh, and the plan was that when you're all up and running as well, get them in for the odd session as well, just to give the kids an added boost. Get, give them a boost, plus just to get a bit of a, a more of a, a, the message out there that the gym's here, um, because the more, obviously social media is a great platform for that now, and, and the more we get in here and get a few of the familiar faces in here, and the kids who maybe was thinking about coming, but then they might see someone who they've seen on teller in that gym, and they go, oh, you know, I wouldn't mind going down there. So you never know whose ears prick up when they see someone who, who, who they've seen fighting on teller in a familiar fit, uh, place, um, the reaction, what they get from it. So, so yeah, we'll definitely get the lads down there. I know there's a good team behind you as well, obviously, that are all trying to get this thing up and running now. You've even got another famous face. The boxing community always stick together. Anthony Crawler's in here today, and again, he's got his own gym that he's rebuilding. Yeah. And again, you, you lot do that, don't you? You support each other. Well, and that's the thing. So, and when I heard about Fox and it burning down and stuff, I, I, I messaged him straight away just saying, listen, you know, obviously, there's not much we can do at this moment in time, but when everything's back up and running, as soon as um, if anything you need, if we can help out, just let us know and we'll, we'll do our best to do whatever. And obviously Charlotte's um, through Maverick Stars, he's, he's, he's offered to help out, as she always does. And um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll try and get that gym up and running. That's 
obviously the other side of Manchester, but same principle. We, we're just trying to keep these kids engaged and get them from doing what they shouldn't be doing or, or probably what they don't want to be doing and get them doing something they do want to do.